Hello everyone, how are you doing today? We will talk about how to prepare for technical tests for software companies. You all know that bulk hiring happens in the software domain and there are a lot of opportunities throughout the year from many companies. And if you prepare well, you have the best shot in securing a job. So let's get started. There are three ways or patterns in which companies check your technical skills. The first one is MCQs. Why is MCQ test given and what aspects are checked in MCQs? If the company wants to check if the students know the fundamentals in any of the programming languages, they generally conduct the MCQ test. These questions are mostly related to theory. Now, how to prepare for this test? First is revise the concepts. Whatever you have learnt, just go through it once again. Second, one should know the flow of execution. Example, how the compiler works, how the interpreter works. Next is, after MCQs, the second aspect is coding tests. Why do companies give coding tests? This is given to check the ability of programming. What is a coding test? There will be a problem statement and they expect the students to write the complete code. The main function is given. The logic function will be missing and students are expected to find that missing logic. What are the different types of coding tests? It could be a scenario based, which means a story based, where they will give a scenario and expect the students to solve the problem using an appropriate code. For example, there are six balls in a box, each numbered serially. The task is to help the person picking up the balls, which is an even number. They can add certain constraints to the scenario, like the numbering of the balls will be from 1 to 100. So the candidate has to construct the code considering the given limit of 1 to 100. Complexity of the scenarios and constraints vary from company to company based on the profile they hire. If the companies are looking for very good programming skills, then the complexity of scenarios and constraints will be difficult. Next is concept based problems. In this, they will give a problem related to some concept and students have to solve it. For example, find the factorial for the given input number using C language. Here also they can add constraints like the program should be able to calculate the factorial till the input value of 10,000. Now, how to prepare for coding? There are three aspects. Usage of concepts. One has to be thorough with the topics or concepts of programming like arrays, functions, loops, etc. Applying the algorithm as per the logic, one has to know different approaches to solve the statement or appropriate strategy considering the given constraints in the statement. So to be good in logic creation, one should understand the algorithm with its complexities, where to apply which algorithm. Then practice. It takes practice to become good at coding. Solve more and more coding questions. Another type of test is debugging. Here, a simple code with inputs are given. The user should be able to trace the output with the help of inputs given. Examples of debugging tests are syntax error. Every programming language follows a set of rules. If the code violates those rules, then it will throw a syntax error. It is expected to find where that error is in the code. How to prepare for this test? One should have proper knowledge of the syntax of programming languages. 
logical error here the entire code will be given and unless we correct few parts of the code it will not give the desired output these errors are related to logic how to prepare for this test one should be able to trace the logic and improve accuracy and debugging ability next is missing code a code is given and there will be a few lines of code missing it is expected to find the missing lines in the code one should be able to find the logic behind given code finally what will in general help students to build logic and become a better programmer we suggest three things strengthening mathematical concepts like mathematical computations number series etc exposure to different algorithms analyze which algorithms are best one to apply one should not restrict thinking only to sample test cases they should develop an ability to think 360 degrees in the problem if you follow the steps given in this video we are sure that it will be easy to deal with the technical test thank you for watching the video